Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. This is beginner Pilates for strong abdominals. If you are on beginner level and looking to strengthen your abdominal muscles, this is a class for you. We're gonna work the transverse abdominal, internal obliques, external oblique, as well as the infamous six pack muscle, the rectus abdominis. However, please note, this class is not suitable if you have diastasis recti or if you are still in your postnatal terms. For everyone else, Let's have some fun. Let's get started. So we're going to start in a modified quadruped position. So what that means is on your hands and your knees, but however, your knees is going to be in between your hand, sorry, your shoulders going to be in between your hands, sorry, your knees and your feet. All right, so let me repeat again, a bit of jumble right there. Your knees will be in between your hands and your feet. Good. So your shoulders are directly above the heel of the palm, but the knees and the hips are not. All right, so pushing the floor away from the hands, the knees, and the feet, keeping your spine nice and long here. Neck is long, take an in-breath. Now as we exhale, we are going to go into a modified cat stretch. So we're going to push the floor away with your hands, the knees, and your feet, pulling abdominal wall and rounding the spine, taking your body into spinal flexion here. And then we're going to lengthen the spine back to where you started and then go ahead and take the upper chest up into extension or arching your back, but keeping in mind that the back of your neck staying nice and long here. Then breathe out, pushing the floor away. Hands, knees, feet pushing into the floor while your belly is pulling into your center, rounding the back. Then lengthening the spine back into the long spinal alignment and then taking your upper body forward and up into extension. And again, exhale, we press. So we have six point here that's connected to the floor, your hands, your knees, and your feet. I like you to really push the six points down into the earth here. Now, as you transition yourself into a long flat back, into the arch, I like you to think about dragging the heel of your palm towards the knees and your knees towards the palm so that you can contract the muscle underneath the armpits, slightly at the back, called the latissimus dorsi. That will assist you to get a much better open chest and extension in the upper back. And again, as we breathe out, we round and lengthen the spine. As we breathe in, drag the heels of the palm towards the knee and the knees towards the hands, taking your body into an extension. Let's do one more time. Exhale, we press away, rounding the back. Then into a flat back and stretching your upper body forward and up into an extension. And let that go. Okay, then we're going to go into a quadruped position where your heels of the palm and your shoulders are in vertical alignment and the knees and your hips are in vertical alignment. I want you to release the feet down here. Okay, now keeping the shoulder nice and broad, keeping the spine nice and long. So I call this exercise the transverse abdominus engagement in a quadruped position. So we want to inhale, think about the ribcage expanding. Now as we exhale, I like you to lift the abdominal muscle, the abdominal wall, up towards the spine without taking your spine into flexion or rounding the back. All right, let's do that again. Inhale, exhale. We pull up the abdominal wall, keeping the spine nice and long, and let it go. Again, exhale. We're lifting up the abdominal away from the gravity while keeping your spine long and let it go. Let's go three more. Exhale. There will be a slight flattening of the lumbar spine, but without taking the lumbar spine into what we call round back or flexion. And then let it go. Again, two more. Exhale. We lift, push the floor away and let it go. One more. Exhale, we lift. Your arms are active here, your neck is long, energy out away from the floor and to the tip of the head and the tailbone lengthening away from each other. And let it go. 
All right, now lucky to tuck the toes under. So we're going to have a modified quadruped here. So as you breathe in, expanding the rib cage as we breathe out. Again, pulling up the transverse abdominal muscle, our corset muscle. Then press the hands down, press the feet down on the toes down. Float the knees off without disturbing the spine. Keeping the belly engaged, we stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower down. Let's do that one more time. Again, exhale, pushing the floor away with the hands and the balls of the feet and the toes, and we lift up as we breathe out. Picking up the TVA, the transverse abdominal, of corset muscle, and keeping our spine long. We stay here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. And let that go. Okay, release that and come and join me to lie on our back. So, the best way is to roll to the side of your body. Then go ahead and lying supine or on your back. We're going to move on with our pelvic curl. So we have your feet hip width distance apart, approximately about a fist between your heels and your toes. And the knees are about 45 degrees angled positioned in a bent position. Chest is open, arms long, neck is long, taken in breath. As we exhale, first thing, lower abs, drawing into the spine, and that will take the pelvis to press the lower back into the spinal, imprinted, the bottom comes off, then press the feet down, articulate while keeping the abdominal connected to your spine. Lifting up with the hamstrings and the abs are still working here. The arms are still reaching away, inhale. Exhale, we roll down. Really try to think about articulating the spine as you go up and down. Again, we inhale, exhale, abdominal, Pressing the lower back down to the floor without squeezing the glutes. Press the feet, then now the hamstring comes on, abdominal still on. Lastly, glutes are on. Now big toes pressing down, so your inner thighs are active. In breath, exhale to roll down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, articulating the spine and coming back to that starting position. Let's do two more times here, in breath. Exhale, abs. Lower back press down, press the feet, hamstring switch on, abdominals still on. And then finish up with the glutes, inner thighs are working. Inhale, exhale, roll down. I like you to think about keeping your arms reaching towards your feet and your neck growing taller away from the shoulders as you do this exercise. Let's do one more time, in breath. Exhale, we roll the pelvis, we lift, the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, reaching the thighs to the knees, reaching the hands to your feet, opening the chest, in breath, exhale to go down, vertebrae by vertebrae, and taking yourself all the way down to the floor, well done. Moving on to our leg changes, which is, I like you to really try to think about stabilizing the pelvis, so I'll give you a little imagery here, peanut butter sandwich, Right, we have the top bread, which is the abdominal, the top abdominal. We have the bottom bread, which is your back muscles. So I'd like you to think about the top bread, the abdominal and the back muscle drawing towards each other while you're doing this exercise. So we are going to avoid arching and flexing the spine. Okay, so arms along as we breathe out. Drawing the belly in and the back muscle in, like a peanut butter sandwich. Then take one leg up to the table, top position, knee over your hip. Now, draw a little deeper so you don't disturb the position of the pelvis. Then we take the second leg up quietly to the tabletop. Let's do that again. We lower one foot down and second down. Okay, so abdominal in. Now, one leg up, tabletop, knee over the hips. and. A little bit deeper, as you breathe out, second leg up, nothing quiet. Okay, now hold that position, lower one foot down, movement from the hip joint. Now as you breathe out, we switch, and switch. You're still keeping this abdominal and the back muscle working together to stabilize the pelvis. So yes, there may be a gap underneath the lower spine, 
That's all right. We're keeping a, what we call a natural curve of the spine. So your pelvis should be, or ideally, in a neutral pelvis position and the lumbar spine as well. Perhaps the lumbar spine can be slightly lengthened down to the floor, but I don't want you to press down and bunch out the belly out. All right, let's continue. Breathe out. Okay, so two more sets. Last set. Both legs up. Let's float the arms up. Now, if this is too challenging for you, you can just stay in the leg changes exercise. Now, as you take the right leg down, the left arm goes overhead, like so, and then we switch. And then we switch. So while we're doing this arm movement, we need to take care that the rib cage does not pop up or down. So try to keep the connection between the lower rib cage to the top of the hips. Two more sets. Last set. Last one. Arms up, legs together. Open your arms out to the T position. Press the back of your arms down. Press the shoulders down. Moving on to our spine, twist supine. Let's go towards me. As we inhale, we rotate from the waist. Exhale. Returning. I like your legs to go together as one unit. Okay, movement comes from your waistline. So we're rotating from the waist, the knee stays together, the arms are pressed down to the floor. And then again, inhale as we twist, exhale. So I'm looking more into control in your center, activating the um, obliques muscle here and just try to be more precise in your movement so you may not go far and that's okay what I want you to what I do not want you to do is as you rotate you lose control you take it all the way down and then you kind of jam yourself into the floor and then bring it back so smooth control with precise movement let's go one more time to the left and come back Okay, lower one foot down and second leg down. Have your feet hip width distance apart. Interlacing your hands behind your head, moving to our chest lift. Elbows may come off the floor a little bit. Allow your head to be really heavy into your hands, kind of like a hammock here. So your arms kind of like a hammock here. So take an in breath. Exhale, abdominal deflating in, and then send the ribs down. We'll lift the chest up, gaze is forward towards the knee or in between the thighs in breath exhale again exhale inhale exhale down all right rock your teeth really think about your arms being a hammock for your head so really support your head and down coming up with the abdominal muscle and not with the neck muscle and then come down two more exhale in breath Exhale, last one, in breath, exhale, to come down. Let's add some rotation for the obliques. We exhale, hold on an in breath. Now, rotate from the waist, we go to the right, towards me, in center. And then over to the other side, and center. And over, in breath. So thinking really about rotating from the waistline, okay? Keeping the height of the chest constant as you rotate, center. We rotate, one more each side, center. Last one, center and return. Well done, stretch your arms overhead. All right, take one leg up to the tabletop and then pull in the peanut butter sandwich here and lifting up the second leg up the tabletop and moving to our hundred. So I'm going to progressively take you to a more challenging hundred position. If you need to stay at a certain point, 
and not follow me through to the more challenging position, you are absolutely welcome to do so. So hundreds, five exhale through the mouth, five inhale through the nose. We inhale, prepare. Exhale, we lift up, come into the chest lift, stay in tabletop, inhale. As we exhale, we palm our arms, and inhale for five. Now, if this is enough for you, you may stay here. And then if you feel like you want a bit more challenge, straighten the legs up. And now if you feel like you can do more, you may take the legs lower, but pulling the center in. And if this is too much, take it back, take it back, take it back, okay? So you choose any position that is Suiting best for you today. All right, exhale. Shh, 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 shh. And two more sets. Shh, 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 shh. Last set. Shh, 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 shh. Well done. Bend the knees, lower one foot. Second one, lower the chest. Take your arms overhead. Now straighten the legs for the roll ups. Legs are together. Keeping the rib cage and your top of the hip bone connected so we're not arching away. Although it feels really good to arch, but now we want to keep the core active. Squeezing the inner thighs, arms overhead. Let's inhale as you take the arms up, lift the chest into a chest lift position, arms to the side of your thigh. As we exhale, deepen the belly in, pull yourself up into a C curve, right? Meaning your spine is inflectioned, but your abdominals are nice and active, the neck is so long. And breathe out as we roll the spine down. You wanna imprint the sacrum first, then the lower spine, then take yourself, arms overhead. Again, inhale, chest lift, exhale, pull in the center, lift up, into the C curve, inhale. Exhale, as you roll down. Now, if you find this is challenging, you might bend the knees as you go down and take the arms up. And then inhale, this is a modification. So lifting up, exhale, knee stays bent and then straighten towards the end, in breath. Exhale, as you go down, you just drag the knees and then take your arms overhead. If this is still too challenging, no problem, we can lift up. Grab the back of your thigh and pull up with the arms, then straighten the legs in breath. Exhale, as you roll down, you can bring the knees in, assist yourself with the arms to go down and arms overhead. However, if you do not need any of those modifications, well, let's just do it with the straight legs. Exhale. So again, you choose any position suiting you today and roll down. Let's go one more time and inhale, exhale, we'll lift, in breath, exhale, we go down and take your arms over. Well done. Let's turn your body towards me in a sideline position. So I have my left arm underneath me. I have my legs long underneath me. Top hand pressing down. All right, I like to see a little space underneath the waistline so that we know that we're keeping our spine long and we're not crunching down to the floor. So here we are. As we breathe out, we pull up the abdominal wall, then we reach the legs up and we go down. Again, and down, and lift, and down. So here, it's an exercise to activate the oblique muscle. One more, exhale, well done. And take yourself up onto forearm, align the shoulder and the elbow, take the top leg forward, take the arm, the top arm by the side. Again, keeping the spine nice and long. So we're going to do our side bridge or a modified side plank. We press the feet down, we press the forearm down, we lift up into that beautiful straight line plank and come on down. So what is a tip to help you 
to make this exercise a little bit lighter for you is to go tall. So push the floor, reach out to the tip of the head, reach long down to your feet, reach up to the ceiling, defy gravity and take it down. So the more you slouch, the heavier it's going to be. The more you try to open up the spine, elongate the body, then making the exercise a lot more friendly for you. And release. All right, let's go over to the other side. So we have the side left, the bottom arm underneath you. Okay, legs are straight together. Remember a gap underneath the waistline, chest is open. We breathe out and we lower. Again, and we lower. And activating the oblique muscle at the top of the body here. And two more. Last one. Okay, and come up onto your forearm, please. For the side bridge or the modified side plank. Okay, forearm pressing down, elbow, shoulders aligned, feet apart, and here we are. Press down as we lift up. Remember to grow tall and taller and be the tallest you can be today, and down. Again, we breathe out, and down. And I sometimes try to think that someone is lifting my arm above me, giving a little bit of a, that friendly support and down. It does make my body feel a little lighter and let it go. Okay, coming up onto a quadruped next. So quadruped position, align the shoulder, heel of the palm, in vertical alignment, knees, and your hip. So imagine you are a table with four legs. So we got the hands, the knees, as the legs. All right, push the legs down into the floor. Opening the spine, lengthen, opening the chest, lengthening the spine. Now, I want you to take the right arm forward, pressing the other rest of the rest of the other legs down onto the floor. I'd like you to take the left knee out, pressing the left hand and the right knee down to the floor. So these are gonna be your little balance point. And then lifting up the transverse abdominus muscle here, we'll reach the arm and the leg up. Nice and sturdy, keeping the balance. And down. So as you take the leg up, this abdominal muscle is going to support your lower spine from being a little hammock by dropping. So, refrain that lower spine from dropping down. Squeezing the left glute as you take the left leg up. And two more. And last one. Well done. Take them in with switch. Pushing the four legs down and stretching the left arm forward and then the right leg back. Pulling the transverse abdominal in Lengthening the lower spine, then we take the arm and the leg and down. So I really try and want you to think about the right glute. Squeeze the glute as you lift the abdominal muscle up. So your true extension of the hip joint is probably only going to be 10 to maximum 20 degree. Any higher than that, you're going to take it from your spine like so. I want you to pull up, reach and down. Again, three more, and down. Two more, last one, well done. Take it down. All right, let's go down onto your floor. Just to finish up with a baby swan to stretch the abdominal here. So we have the legs straight behind you, parallel position, your forearm by the side, dragging the elbows down to the side of the rib cage. neck is long. As we breathe out, we pick up the belly as we breathe in, drawing the shoulder blades down, pushing the hands down, taking your upper body into a maximum extension in the middle back. And come on down. Again, we reach up as we inhale, we lift. Exhale. Take it down. Three more. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. 
I would take it down. Two more. Inhale, energy through the legs, out to your, to your toes. Inhale, we'll take it down. Last one, lifting. Exhale, take it down, well done. Push your body away, press the forearm down, pull up the belly, bring the body or the pelvis to the heels. Arms are reaching long, what a rest position. Inhale, exhale, and then slowly roll the spine up. Sitting nice and tall. All right, that's all we have for today. I hope you have a lovely class, and I hope to see you again in my next class. Have a great day.